So this is a very sad and chilling story of this 26 years old guy who has actually confessed to the fact that he murdered his girlfriend. Welcome to the channel guys, it's The Rose Show. So this is a 26 years old Nigerian guy who is actually on his page right now confessing to the fact that he actually ended the life of his girlfriend. Now if you go to his page, you can see that he lives a lavish life. This girl lives a lavish life also. There are pictures of them like in the same places, They're like not obviously posting together, but you can tell that they vacation together and they spend this money, they ball together. So what happened? What went wrong? Apparently, um, there's some reports that the girl's mother has been looking for her. They've not heard from her. And so when they went to the boy's house, they saw her body. They saw her body there. And according to some sources, there are some parts of her body that were no longer there. You know, that her breasts had been taken out and, you know, her eyes and all that had been taken out. But now this guy is actually on his Instagram story talking about his own side of the story so apparently after um the girl passed he ran away you know he ran so that he would not be caught and when the girl's mother started looking for her and they went there saw the girl so now he's being looked for so he's on his instagram account saying his side of the story according to him he stabbed her he's not even lying about that he's not denying it he's saying that they were they had a heated argument and he stabbed her and that he's not a bad person that he didn't mean to end her life that he stabbed her mistakenly and that he has stabbed the person that he has ended the life of the person that he loves so much it was a mistake he's actually saying that he wants to turn himself in you know that there's nothing more for him to do he said i ruined my life at 26 oh my god i'm i'm going crazy so now, for first things first, when I saw it, I was like, okay, this guy is talking too much, you know. I know that maybe there's a pressure and everything and he obviously knows that he can't run away from this situation. But I think that the first thing that happened was when he ended her, you know, he ran away. You know, he was trying to hide. And now he's seeing that, okay, I cannot hide anymore. So he's trying to say his own um, part of the whole story because he knows that there's no two ways about it. You did this to this girl and you are going to pay for your crime. You're going to be arrested. So it's not like you're asking the police, okay, come and arrest me or if you, you know, I want to be arrested. You have to be arrested, sir. You guys, there are over 10 slides, you know, what he's talking about. He said, I'm in so much pain, you know, I need help. What is life now that he has lost, um, you know, somebody that is very close to him. And he's also saying that I want to turn myself in. I'm like, Nigerian police, what are you waiting for? And, you know, he's saying, I'm not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. But with what happened, I think I deserve nothing but to die. I will gladly die by hanging. Like he's giving options. That's why I feel like he's even talking too much. I don't know. It, this is sounding like he's giving manipulative vibes. I am sorry. I'm not even, how would I put it? I think maybe he's doing it to get pity. But like even though in one of his um posts he said he doesn't want pity. But I'm like, you're not the one going to suggest how you are going to die. You understand? Get arrested first you know get arrested first you want to turn yourself in sir you i know that maybe he's trying to say his own side of the story because he knows that when they arrest him he might not have a voice anymore or he might not have his phone anymore to tweet okay now you're finished tweeting and i know that he's doing all these things to get pity but i cannot look past the fact that somebody's daughter is lifeless at this point you are still alive you might not even you know he might just be in prison and whoever is in prison is still alive. Your family can come and see you and you will see them. The thing is that this lady's parents, family, sisters, brothers, friends will never see her again after she has been laid to rest. Never. You still have an option. So he's saying uh, he cannot face his family and how did how is he going to face his only brother? That, that His brother is the one that really knows him and he's sorry for, you know, forgive your elder brother. I'm like, see why I say this is giving manipulative vibes because, excuse me, sir, the lady that has passed right now cannot even face her siblings if she has any. You have an option to even explain to your brother that you do not mean what she did. She doesn't have an option. She does not. She's gone. She's gone. You know? And now he's saying, oh, God, um, um, look at me now, God. You know, I, and I said earlier on that he also said that he didn't need sympathy. He doesn't need pity from anybody. You know, that he's truly down and broken from what has happened. I deserve nothing but to, you know, die. Yes, I truly do and want to. And want to, for her soul to rest in peace. I will turn myself in, I promise. And she will get justice. Please, sir, once again, please turn yourself in. Somebody has just lost a child. 
my days on earth are numbered already i know i have not more days here to live in this evil world and there's nothing to lie about anymore as there's nothing to lose i've lost it all i will say the truth you know and only the truth and i hope it brings me god's acceptance in heaven i will live the many days of my life truthful cooperating with the um, investigations and turning myself in while awaiting that i feel like he's talking about this death like people should pity him that he should not go i'm not even trying to be insensitive i'm just saying that somebody has died somebody's daughter has died so if um what they call it you have to pay for the crime sadly sadly it, it, it's just what it is you, you know somebody has to pay and you're coming out now to talk about it which is good because at least we don't get to waste so much time investigating and he said i wish i can go back in time god and this part struck me because every time that we lose somebody through domestic violence when people talk about it you hear people say oh you have to be nice be kind stop being um you know harsh when you're talking about them stop asking them to leave you don't know how hard it is to leave we also don't know how hard it is to die. As long as you are alive, you don't know how hard death is. The pain before those final um, seconds, you know the pain the person was feeling out of the, you know, physical harm, you know, the person was feeling, the person felt, we would never understand it. We would never. And that is why every time, sometimes I feel like people who are in abusive relationships need tough love because maybe it's the tough love that will make you know that, okay, choose yourself and leave. Because... I find it hard to believe that this is the first time that um, Oster here and this guy, his name is even Killer Boy. Can you imagine? I find it hard, hard to believe that this is the first time they were having that kind of heated argument in quotes. I find it hard to believe. It's not just, you don't just when wake up one morning and the first time you're having a heated argument, you pull carry knives. Maybe it's something that always happens. And maybe because of many reasons, they feel like maybe they love themselves because he keeps on saying he loves her. And he, she never left. Or he never left. Nobody left. And they stayed there and they're managing themselves. And now one person is no more. And one person is saying, I want to turn myself in. I'm going to say the truth. I'm going to cooperate with the investigation. I'm very happy about that part because at least don't put the family of the girl through the trauma of going to court countless times when you are trying to lie. In fact, his lawyers, if you're going to get a lawyer, the lawyer has a lot of work to do because this guy has come out and confessed everything. So lawyer, I don't know what your work is going to be. Just allow this guy to say the truth that he said he wants to say. So you don't put the parents of this girl, the family members of this girl through the kind of trauma, you know, of going to court, court cases upon court cases because the person is saying he's not guilty. He has said he's guilty. Allow him to be guilty. You know, it's just so messed up. He's 26. So you know that this girl probably is younger than him or maybe the same age with him or as him. So you see somebody that young is being, her life has ended because of carelessness, because of anger you know what are you arguing about you think that they argue when they carry knife what are you arguing about it's just so sad i say that i feel like sometimes when you see a domestic somebody in um, a whole uh, situation like this the person might just need tough love it's not every time you need to pet them sometimes you need to literally be firm on with them hard on them maybe they will just leave because look at this look at this guys anyways let me know your thoughts are in the comment section is real sure thank you for watching